just to warm up, I hope I, it's an easy question for you. What mm. was the last movie you saw? The last movie I saw? Yes. Honey Boy. And it was amazing. What is that? I, I got to see it early. It's Shia LaBeouf's movie. Ah, yeah, I know. Alma, um, Alma Haral is the uh, Yeah, is the I heard director. from it. It's phenomenal. Yeah? Phenomenal. I'm, I'm it's looking... straight up my favorite movie of the year. Wow, Incredible. Cool. Incredible. Okay, yeah. I'm looking forward to see it. Yes, there you go. <laughs> um, Gosh, what was the last movie I saw? Um, <laughs> God, I'm trying to think. What is... I haven't seen a movie in a while. Last Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. No, I, uh, gosh, I mean, honestly, it, well, I, I've been watching a lot of monster movies because my next movie okay. is going to be a monster movie. So. Oh, great. Cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm very excited about it. <laughs> yeah. There's, I, I recently watched Bride of Frankenstein, which is one of the greatest movies of all time. Okay. Yeah. Um, but Last Christmas is a comedy movie, and it's the sixth comedy movie in a row. I mean, a Little Favor also has a great, great comedy elements. Mm -hmm. What is so fascinating about comedies? To me, comedies are real life. Um, you know, when I see a drama that's very heavy and there's no humor in it, it doesn't feel like real life to me because I, you know, any situation we're in, the most tragic, heavy situation, somebody's still going to try to make a joke. Something still funny is going to happen, whether we want it to or not, and that feels more real to me. So I always, always want to tell a story with humor in it. Um, you are the only director I watch every feature it of on Blu-rays, oh, and nice. I really like the one about style and fashion, especially the one I really enjoyed, the one on uh, a, a Little Favor. Mm -hmm. um, how would you describe the the style of Last Christmas? Well, we wanted to be very real. Uh, Renee Kalfas, who uh, my costume designer, who also did Simple Favor, um, you know, we want to make sure that it that a character's closet doesn't feel bigger than the character, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And so it was really fun to find for Amelia that she only has a few different out outfits she wears and that she wears that leopard skin, you know, the fake leopard coat because that's her armor, that's mm -hmm. what she hides under. And, um, you know, but also designing that elf costume was a big deal because we didn't want it to be too corny, but we didn't want it to be too good. But, you know, because Santa, is very theatrical mm -hmm. in the way that she presents her store. And so, you know, Kate is one of the actors in her play and Santa presents herself as the star of the play. And then we had, you know, to make sure that, that Amelia is dressed as, uh, you know, as her supporting actor. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, then for Henry, we just wanted to give him a look that was very iconic, um, you know, that sort of, played into who we find out who he, real, who he really is. And so we actually contacted Ralph Lauren, who specially designed that overcoat for mm -hmm. Henry. Paul Feig is a director. I watch um, every feature of yeah. his movies when uh, they are on, on uh, Blu-ray or yeah. something. Because when I see um, pictures or videos of his um, behind the scenes uh, scenes, mm. um, I think it looks like it's very funny on set. Yeah. And everyone is in a good mood. Is it, yeah. is it right? How it's is completely it, right. Yeah. How is it to work with him? It's just joyful. He just is, you've never heard him raise his voice. He never kicks off about anything. He is always prepared. Mm -hmm. You know exactly what you're doing. You normally rap early, which is all you want. Um, I love it. We really want to be an actor. We really want to be in a movie, but can win to lunch. <laughs> um, and he um, he's just, he just makes it the most joyful environment, mm -hmm. which is really, really, really hard to do because I've had many experiences where that's not the case. <laughs> and it always comes down to the director. So, um, I would like to talk to you about the diversity of the cast. Mm -hmm. um, it wasn't exactly uh, while watching the movie, but after it, when I was thinking about it and w while I write, wrote my, uh, my review, mm -hmm. I realized, oh my God, the, the ensemble or the cast is so, it's, it's one of the most diverse cast I've ever seen. Oh, good. We have uh, a women, a, a women the, the gender, the, the sexuality, the, mm -hmm. the, um, the culture. We always, uh, we, we, we have um, people with, uh, with disabilities mm -hmm. and it's so normal and it's never a problem in this movie. Mm -hmm. Is it a statement or is it a coincidence or is it just normal for you? Well, no, it, it's, movies have to reflect the world that we live in. Mm -hmm. And we live in a very diverse world. Absolutely. And when I see <clears throat> movies that, that aren't diverse in that way, um, it just, they don't ring true to me. So uh, it's very important to me to make sure that we do that. And so mm -hmm. I'm always, you know, being very careful to, check the default setting mm -hmm. of, of people because people just automatically tend to cast what they're used to 
And so, yeah, I have to go like, let's get somebody diverse for this. I want diversity in this role, you know, and, but also just making, finding the most talented people for the roles, but just opening the doors wide because, yeah, it's, it's very important to me, very important. Um, we have a Jason Statham reference in the movie. Yes. And I remember that Spy was Jason Statham, the performances, the movie. <laughs> and uh, was the reference, uh, or was it in the script? Has um, the, the author, the author Emma Thompson, exactly the same humor like you? Or did you put it after? We put it in after. That was a, uh, It was an ADR <laughs> joke because those two performers who play the cops are so funny. And when Ingrid, the, the cop that does that, did her thing, she, I thought she sounded like Jason Statham when she did it. <laughs> so it was later that, yeah, we did a, you know, in post, we had them record that joke. Okay. Last Christmas is your first uh, comedy after your big breakout. Um, you, you made, uh, I guess you made, made a comedy 2012, am I right? Me before you? Yeah. Would you call that a No, it's not a comedy. I, I'm Spike a, Island? Not yeah, really this one. Yeah, that's sort of a drama. <laughs> But uh, uh, yeah. it's a long time ago. Did it? And you made, uh, yeah, a Me Before You, mm -hmm. you made a, a fantasy series I heard of. They did, just a little thing, <laughs> yeah. Um, Is it different to be on a, on a on a comedy set than on a drama or fantasy set? Um, or different to work there? Honestly, it's you could be doing sort of any subject matter, and if you have good people involved, you're always going to have a good time. Mm -hmm. So, oftentimes you'll hear people say in the most darkest of movies they laugh the most, mm -hmm. and in the funniest of movies they don't. Now, this oh. wasn't our that wasn't my experience at all oh, okay. because. It was like they cherry picked the crew, the cast, everyone, mm -hmm. and it was, it was, it was just joyful. It was everyone was just really, really, really lovely. So, I don't know how much of that is to do with the subject matter and how much of that to do is just to do with just the people. Mm -hmm. But it definitely encouraged a kind of fluid, relaxed, cool environment where you felt comfortable as an actor, <laughs> which cool. makes a difference. Um, you had to do something, uh, very tough things uh, on, on set of, of last Christmas. You had to sing, yeah. you had uh, to, to ice dance, you had yeah. to sing and to ice dance. Uh, yeah. um, what was the biggest challenge? Uh, ice skating. I, yeah. I can't do it. I'm really, really bad. I get, I panic. And when I panic and go stressed, I get very quiet. Oh, okay. Start sweating. I thought you were very it. good at acting that. Thanks, thank you so much. <laughs> took me a little while, took a few takes. But I just, that was the one day where I was like, I'm not laughing, I'm not joking. <laughs> I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> like I really, oh I really was really scared. <laughs> like genuinely scared. So yeah, I really, um, you know, there's always that like romantic thing where it's mm -hmm. like, God's oh, Christmas, let's go ice skating. No, I will not. I will not be getting so put back on the ice. Definitely not. <laughs> And you're a very good singer, I have to say. Thank that. you very It much. Was very Thank nice. You. Thanks. Thank you. Um, Last Christmas is a very musician film because, um, yeah, Last Christmas, it's, it's the title is mm -hmm. named after the very famous uh, Christmas song. Mm -hmm. And there are other songs of uh, George Michael in it. Yes. And it's, it's like, um, I mean, we, uh, last year we had Bohemian Rhapsody, this year we have yeah. Yesterday, we have mm -hmm. Rocket Man. It's, it's a time yeah. for musician movies. Um, what would you say when, uh, when, if you could choose a musician who uh, will get his own movie? Which oh, one would you choose? That's such a good Who question. Who earned it? Who earned it? Well, that's the thing, because you've got so many amazing singers. You've got, like, Joni Mitchell. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? But then you've got people going, we can't touch that. We can't. <laughs> you couldn't do a Joni Mitchell thing. I mean, I love the Beatles so much. So to have that appear in a way that was kind of respectful to, but mm -hmm. not trying to be the Beatles was wonderful. Um, but, oh, God, there's so many. There's so many amazing... Musicians, I mean, I'd quite like to see, do you know who the streets are? Okay. They're an amazing British band. Okay. They're kind of British grime, hip hop, but not quite, they're their own thing. I think a streets musical would be, a movie would be really interesting because they're fascinating. Um, yeah, Mike Skinner, if you're watching, do it. Do a streets musical. Uh, but yeah, the, the, the classics and then, you, you know, Aretha, Ella, Billie Holiday, my God, her life was just, <laughs> insane so that would be i could keep going i love music so i could keep going okay cool. but any one of those with ghostbusters you directed a movie um that was rated not very fair in my opinion from the from the audience Thank and you. the critics mm -hmm. And when, when I say that it's one of my favorite comedies, I have to explain my whole uh, taste of, of movies. How, <laughs> um, how did you learn to, 
to handle this kind of negative feedback, feedback especially on the internet? Well, I, it was it was a it was a process. I, I wasn't used to that kind of attack mm -hmm. because I'd always had a very friendly uh, relationship with the internet yeah. before that because of Freaks and Geeks and Bridesmaids and all my other yeah. films were not controversial. <laughs> but so I really didn't handle it well when it first happened. Mm -hmm. It was it was very it was like all my my schoolyard bullying mm -hmm. feelings came out, and it took me a few years of really just being devastated by it. And it wasn't until he finally came out and I just had weathered the storm that I realized, this is crazy. Yeah. And I think, you know, the, and the, the, the big moment for me, because all I'd been yelled at for, you know, for, for three years, all I heard is, thanks for ruining my childhood from all mm -hmm. these, you know, middle-aged guys. And we ended up winning the Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards mm -hmm. for best, best, best picture. You know, we beat, Captain America and Star Wars and all those things. And I was like, no, you know, I, it, whether these middle-aged guys have a problem with this, a whole generation of kids now have a Ghostbusters that they love. Yeah. So it, it made me just let go. <laughs> There's a great debate on the internet now. And to, to, to conclude it, there's, there are the uh, only art is cinema guys on the one hand and only entertainment is cinema on the other hand. Right. So, I just want to know from you as a director, what means cinema from you? To me, cinema means you entertain an audience. Mm -hmm. And, and it, entertainment doesn't have to be shallow. Uh, entertainment just needs to be honest. And it needs to be representative of the world around us, like mm -hmm. you know, we're saying with the diversity, but it also needs to tell universal stories about characters that we can relate to. And we need to learn from those characters. But I think, you know, it doesn't have to be a lecture. We, mm -hmm. you know, we say, in my company, we always say, we don't want, something that can't be homework. You know, you have to go like, you got to watch this movie because it's very important. And you're like, okay, you know, you kind of, it's a great movie, but you're kind of like, have to get through it. You need to be pulled through a movie. And yeah. so it's up to the filmmaker to tell whatever story they're going to tell. If they're going to tell a very important story, mm -hmm. they have to do it entertainingly. Um, but at the same time, it, it, you want to have that second layer. You want a movie to, to mean something to people, mm -hmm. to not just be pointless, yeah. you know? And for me also, it, it's very important that a, a movie is good natured. Yeah. You know, it can be dark and it can show off the really bad parts of human nature, but at the end it needs to, the, I feel the message needs, mm -hmm. needs to be, there is hope. Okay. You know, life isn't just, just yeah. give up, you know? Yeah. And that, I don't want that to be the message of my movie. <laughs> if you could choose one character you ever played in a movie or series and yeah. you could meet him, um, which one would you choose and why? So if they were not me, they yes. were the character. <laughs> I mean, I would be, I would be foolhardy to say anyone other than the mother of dragons, please. 100%. <laughs> if well, anything, just to be like, just lend me a dragon. Okay. <laughs> just let me, just let me ride on for a minute. That's very nice. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Thank it you very so much. Nice. Thanks. Thank you you very too. Much.